Minasan, konnichiwa. My name is Luke. Welcome back to the Tokyo One YouTube channel. Um, before we get into today's video, I just wanted to take a little step back and just say thank you to everyone. Um, I did a video previously around the uh, sister city relationship between Adelaide and Himeji. Um, and um, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who took the time to view, who took the time to like the video, and also to those who took the time to subscribe as well. Um, obviously, a lot of work goes into these videos. Um, and not that I expect, you know, a lot of likes and a lot of subscriptions. I know this is a bit of a, a niche area that um, probably won't have you know, huge amounts of followers. But um, the followers that I have got, the likes that I have got, the comments and the feedback that I've received from people on the previous video. Um, I just really want to say thank you to everyone. Um, and I really appreciate everyone's enthusiasm. Um, their motivation for me to keep doing these videos because these videos do take quite a lot of time um, but it is a passion it is something that I really really like enjoying to do, enjoy doing uh, and I want to keep doing them um, regardless of how many likes regardless of how many subscriptions I get um, you know the, the the purpose for me is to keep creating these videos and to um, basically take you all on a journey to explore uh, Japan in South Australia and then share that journey with you and take you along for the ride, which is, you know, why I keep saying in my videos, you know, let's discover together. Um, so like I said, just again, thank you very much. I can't thank you all enough for your support. Um, and uh, let's get into the next video. So, today's video. Today's video is called the Top 10 Japanese Statistics in South Australia. And what these statistics are going to be based around is going to be based around the 2016, 2016 Australian Bureau of Statistics Census Information. So I suppose to give a bit of a background, um, every five years, the Australian government will send out a survey to individual households and the, the people in living at the time in that household must complete the survey because it is mandatory and complete all the questions that are your households and the, the people in living at there in the survey and then submit it back to the government. Um, now, the, the, the survey questions can, can cover off a very, very, very broad range of information. Um, well, I said when it comes to like family, age, gender, the, um, you know, employment, a whole, a whole range of things. So today what we're going to look at is I've, I've personally selected 10 different statistics that I want to share with you that was based on, again, 2016 information um, because the reason for 2016 information because that's the full data available. Um, there was a census done in 2021, but that data isn't quite fully available yet. All right, so look, Further, without further ado, let's have a look at the information and I'll see you at the end of the video, okay?
look, I hope everyone enjoyed that. Um, I hope you all took away um, at least one piece of information that you thought was was um, was really interesting. I um, just want to call out a couple of things. So the first one was um, around some of the actual numbers of the data. So the numbers that I have put in this video have been rounded up just for simplicity purposes. Um, the the obviously the information, the numbers um, in the census data was a lot more specific. Um, if you do want to check out those numbers, um, I'll put a, uh, a link in the description box below where you can go to that link to the website, it's the Australian Bureau of Statistics website, and you can have a look at the information yourself. Uh, also, the, on that website, uh, there is also um, a lot more of a variety of other things uh, that is on there that I haven't pointed out in this video. Um, on there, there's a lot, so that's why I also didn't want to bombard everyone with just too much information. I just thought I was putting the top 10 to look at. Number two, um, one thing that I didn't put into the video um, was the, the I think, the population. Uh, the, the population from what the website had stated was about 1,500 um, Japanese people in South Australia. Now, I don't know whether um, anyone feels that's probably about right or... Um, a bit less or a bit more than than what you thought. I thought it was a bit low myself, um, and I think that's probably because you'll find that not everybody, um, while you know you're supposed to complete the survey, probably not everyone's going to complete that. So um, the data may be a little bit um, lower than than uh, than probably what the reality is. But I still think it was. Um, Still just want to give you guys the update that that was the number there. Um, you know, let me know your thoughts in the comments section below, whether you thought, again, that population number was correct. Um, any key takeouts that you got from the information that I provided, I'd love to hear your thoughts. I'd love to hear your feedback on, on that information. As I said, um, when the 2021 information does become available, um, I'll do another video on that 2021 information. Um, and then, like I said, what we'll do is we'll do a bit of a comparison of 2016 versus 2021, see what has changed over the last five years. Obviously, with COVID coming into it, um, it's probably going to have quite a sharp change compared to um, to what it was in 2016. But who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it won't be. Maybe it won't be too sharp of a change. Again, thank you very much for your time today. Um, countless thank yous as always for um, your views, your likes, your comments, your subscription. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you all in the next video. Matane.